Hello nerds and nerdettes, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the one and only video that I love, that you guys love, which is my monthly haul video. This video is going to be my haul for November. A little bit of December, last book I received was about December 2nd, so earlier last week, end of last week. So dipped into December a little bit, but most of these books I ordered and received all in November. So this will be November's haul, even though we dipped in just a little bit. But with that being said, just a couple things to kind of cover before we get into it. I was a little light on manga volumes this haul. So for my manga lovers, I apologize. It just wasn't really on the agenda based off things that I was trying to purchase. I will be picking up more manga as we go, but right now, as I've said in my other hauls, my main priority, my main focus is on indie titles and actually getting those into the collection so I can read a lot of them. As you're going to see, for a lot of books in this haul, I haven't read them. I haven't even experienced them in any capacity so that's kind of why indie titles are my main focus because i haven't really read a lot of them so we're still on that train trying to get those in but with that being said we can go ahead and start with manga and then jump from there the one and only manga volume that i've received is blade of the immortal and the dark horse deluxe editions absolutely beautiful books i've said that before Dark Horse Deluxe Editions is the way to collect manga. Maybe I am a little biased there. I'm not too sure, but these books are absolutely beautiful and treated beautifully. No gutter loss at all. The whites are extremely white. Blacks are extremely black, very deep. Um, and same thing with this series that is being collected in that format, which is Blade of the Immortal. Still in my top five favorite manga series I've ever read. Had a little bit of a shaky start, which I've said before, a little fast paced for me, but it's really, really getting good now. Um, there will be 10 volumes to collect all of Blade of the Immortal. We are obviously on volume seven, so just a little more to go to get to that ending, which I'm super excited about because that will be the first long running series that has been collected in these deluxe editions. And I just can't wait to wrap up this series and see what Dark Horse decides to put in these deluxe editions next. So super pumped for that, happy to get this in, and this is definitely going to be at the top of the TBR pile. So that's Blade of the Immortal, and that does wrap up manga, but we will go ahead and move to the indie titles, which make up most of my haul. First indie title is going to be Nocturnals, the Omnibus Volume 1. A little bit of... I guess a blind buy this was recommended to me by actually one of you guys and as i've said before any recommendations you make for me are very much appreciated and i will definitely go out and actually try to get them and read them and kind of present my opinion on them based off kind of the synopsis and a little bit of the art this definitely does not seem like something i would really love per se but i'm always 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 willing to give something a try based off the research that i have done this is a very halloween themed book with halloween themed stories and characters and this is volume one of a two volume set uh, apparently volume two is mostly extras there's very few actual in issues in the book itself but I at least have volume one in so I can determine if it's something that will stay in my collection or won't and if it doesn't then I'm definitely willing to obviously sell this or give this away in a giveaway to one of you guys but you guys can let me know down below what I should be expecting going into Nocturnals and if you'd be happy with a giveaway or something in the near future just let me know down below but with that being said we'll jump to the next title. Next up, we have Oblivion Song, Volume 1, in these hardcovers. I'm a huge fan of Robert Kirkman. If you guys couldn't tell from my last video, when I collected Outcast, I'm really trying to get a lot of Robert Kirkman works into the collection. He's probably in my top five writers. And Oblivion Song, I've heard very mixed reviews, very similar to Outcast. 
that it starts off really good and around the halfway point falls off a little bit but I don't take anyone's critique to heart. I'm always going to go out and find out for myself before diving in. But other than that, there's not a whole lot I can really give to you guys about this title. It's not one that I've actually read, which is actually a great thing for me because I love getting in books that I've actually not read or heard of, which is going to be a little bit of a common theme with this haul in general, which is super exciting for me. But there are four hardcovers out currently. I, I think that's the entire series, so I have a little bit of a ways to go, but volume one at least gets me to start, so that's good enough for me. But we'll jump to the next book. Or I should say set of books. This is Animosity, the Omnibus, and Animosity Evolution. I've read a decent amount of this title. Very good stuff. Pretty much follows Jesse and her dog Sandor, who live in a world where a... I guess large-scale event takes place that causes all of the animals of Earth to become intelligent, be able to talk, function very much like us humans do, and it kind of covers the world and how humanity reacts to that event, which is very interesting. I am an animal lover, so this is definitely a book that I've always wanted in the collection, always wanted to reread and re-experience. It's really great and it's been collected in its completion in an omnibus format. Very large, hardcover, beautiful book. And then kind of goes with it, at least I bought them together, is Animosity Evolution. I have not read this. Based off the art and the synopsis, it seems like a somewhat futuristic after story to the Animosity original series. But don't quote me on that. I have not checked out any of the kind of tie-ins or side stories to Animosity. I've only checked out the actual standard or normal vanilla story itself. So I'm super excited to get this into the collection because it's actually one of my top 10 favorite indie titles probably. Um, really great stuff. If you haven't read it, definitely check it out. You can definitely expect a review on this book and Animosity Evolution. I'm happy to continue the reading order, I guess, of Animosity and go into whatever Animosity Evolution goes into. But with that being said, we can jump to the next book. And here we are, Monstrous Book One, the beautiful book that it is, award-winning title, not something that I've read, but something that's always been on my radar because of all of the connections and comparisons to Berserk that this title's gotten through the years. I've heard nothing but good things and I am extremely excited to finally dive in. Book two is either currently released or going to be released soon, but I am more than excited. This is definitely going to be something you can expect a review on because I feel like not enough people are talking about this title for how good that it seems to be. Flipping through the pages alone, the art is absolutely breathtaking insanely incredible definitely worth checking out and i've heard nothing but good things but expect a review i'll definitely let you guys know what i think of the title and if it's actually worth the hype or are people hyping up a little bit too much not too sure but i've heard that it's very wordy it's not what i've seen flipping through the pages but of course as always i'll let you guys know let me know down below what i should expect diving in is it that close to berserk or is that a little far-fetched but we'll move to the next book we have saga the hardcover book one of three there's three books currently out this is only number one so i have a little bit of ways to go with this but this is a title that i've read this is a title that i love this is probably on mine and everyone else's top five indie titles ever 100 percent worth the read if you have not heard of this this is a sci-fi, fantasy, Romeo, Juliet style of story that is all about hope and love. A absolutely incredible story with incredible characters from the main characters to the supporting cast. I cannot say enough about this series and the work that Brian K. Vaughn has done on this title. It's still ongoing. He's said that it's about at its halfway point, so I'm expecting probably another three hardcovers eventually. But 
definitely check this out guys if you're into comics manga whatever it may be definitely read this it is one of those life-changing titles that are absolutely incredible next up we have another book that i haven't read middle west flipping through this book i feel like i'm flipping through the script of lord of the rings something about it just screams epicness from what i've seen and what i've heard absolutely breathtaking another life-changing series that is absolutely under the radar underrated but from the people that i have heard from it is absolutely incredible super excited to actually get this into my hold and be able to actually experience it and this is another book you can definitely expect a review on um everything about this book the way it's collected is just amazing i love the way a lot of these indie titles are collected and this is exactly the same just feels like a really well put together book and flipping through makes the story art really pop and i'm more than excited to jump into this and actually see what all the underrated or under the radar hype is about and if it's actually as good as a lot of people have told me but with that being said, we can go ahead and jump to DC. And of course, for DC, I have the one and only Flash by Mark Waid Omnibus Volume 1. Let's hope for more volumes. A character-defining run, absolutely more than important to the character of Flash as well as the DC Universe. This is the run that makes Wally West such a likable character and a lot of ours favorite Flash as well as introduces us to the Speed Force, how that entire thing works, as well as Flash's powers and why he can do the things he does. Absolutely amazing art throughout. And of course, Mark Wade writing it. He just understands superheroes. He understands DC, Marvel, whatever he will be put on to write, he will make sure that he 100% understands that character before he dives in, and that is exactly what he does with The Flash. This is probably my first favorite run, just behind that being Jeff Johns, but I do enjoy Wally West much more than I do Barry Allen, and this is all Wally West goodness, and definitely worth the pickup. This is the first time it's been collected in omnibus format. Before this, I believe it was collected in a couple or a group of trades, and the art and the story is definitely worth the omnibus format and i am more than happy that we actually finally received it even though there was a little bit of a snafu with the covers and i didn't get the cover that i actually wanted but as long as i get the book in i'm happy but we can go ahead and move on to marvel first marvel omnibus is the one and only ultimate x-men i've said to some people before new x-men and ultimate x-men are actually my favorite run on x-men i usually get a decent amount of hate for that but i really enjoy modern era style stories and this is exactly what this is obviously being from the ultimate universe this is the x-men being thrusted into the early 2000s a lot of early 2000 goodness edginess all that goodness and we're finally getting a lot of ultimate titles collected into the omnibus we obviously have the ultimates Ultimate Spider-Man, now X-Men. This is a volume one, so hopefully more volumes to come. But this is absolutely a great run. I know it gets a decent amount of hate, especially for its later half. But this volume one and the contents that it collects is really some great stuff pertaining to X-Men or the ultimate counterpart to X-Men and definitely worth the read. You can 100% expect a review on this book and I'll let you guys know and show you guys a little bit of the art as I typically do. But definitely let me know down below if you're a fan of this book or if you're more of a fan of the 616 X-Men world, which probably majority of you are, which I am too, but I really, really enjoyed the Ultimate Universe as well as Ultimate X-Men. But we'll go ahead and move to the next book. And that is The Miracle Man Omnibus by the original writer, AKA Alan Moore. Much like anything he writes, whether it's Swamp Thing, this, Watchmen, anything he seems to touch, it gets held in very, very high regard, and this is no different. This is 100% a character-defining story, obviously. Miracle Man was a very obscure character before this, 
and I already have a review on this exact book and I can leave that up above for anybody that's interested but this is definitely worth picking up. I've heard that it's a little bit hard to get your hands on currently but I was able to snag a copy for myself and I'm more than happy beforehand I believe it was collected in a group of three hardcovers as well as maybe some trade paperbacks. I only really focus on hardcovers and I just had a feeling that it was going to be collected at Omnibus just because it's such an important story or group of stories and sure enough it was and now I have it and that's Miracle Man the Omnibus. Next up we have the AVX Avengers vs X-Men Omnibus another book that I did a review on which I'll leave up above for anybody that's interested but Another book that was not collected in omnibus format, much like a decent amount of these big two omnis, finally being collected beforehand. It was in an oversized hardcover as well as a companion hardcover, but all of those contents are collected in here. It gets the omnibus treatment, the beautiful red square that we all love, and it is 100% a great story. I know it gets a lot of flack for just being nonsensical fighting, but a lot of events that take place in this omnibus drastically affect the Marvel Universe going forward, so it's definitely important for that reason alone. But I also happen to love di differing of opinion storylines where no matter if they're heroes or not, whatever it may be, there's just two ideologies that are caused to clash because of some reason, similar to Civil War, AVX. I really, really enjoy events and books like that and I really really love this. The first half of art is a little rough but definitely gets better so definitely check this out and if you're not sure if you like it then check out my review and maybe you'll be able to make a decision from there. And that wraps up today's video for the month of November's haul. Let me know down below what you guys picked up if you picked up any books that I picked up as well or if maybe I slept on something Obviously, I can't get everything, so I'd really appreciate if you guys let me know some books that maybe slipped under my radar. I would also like to thank each and every one of you for getting the channel to 280 subscribers. I'm beyond speechless. I'm so humbled by each and every one of you guys. I love how the comment sections are always so knowledgeable and just so opinionated, giving kind of feedback on titles and everything like that. I've learned quite a bit from you guys and that's kind of the whole point of this. And of course, if you'd like to join the Luminarity community, hit that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate that as well as if you would hit that thumbs up icon. It really helps the algorithm and helps the community grow quite a bit. You can also feel free to hit that bell icon. That way you can get notified anytime I put out any type of content. I also post a decent amount of content on my socials, which is the same handle as the YouTube, but on Instagram and TikTok. But other than that, thank you so much for watching as always. And of course, as always, stay nerdy.